The two biggest questions that people asked when I posted that video about our schedule is, number one, can sisters and brothers in convents and monasteries exercise? Number two, can we watch TV? So I had no idea that exercise and television were these top priorities. The answer is yes, we can watch TV, but we generally don't. Our schedule's very busy, so we don't have a lot of time to watch TV. We don't have cable, we do have subscriptions, so it's easier for us in the evenings after everything is, is done for the day to just watch stuff on our computers. We have Netflix and Hulu, so we can watch things like, I watched The Last Kingdom, love that show, and I watch documentaries, uh, just general like biography documentaries. Some of our sisters watch uh, Call the Midwife. Of course, it's very popular among the Anglican Communion. Sisters and brothers love that show. I can't watch that show. It's a great show and I wish I could watch it, but I have this weird thing where when I hear a baby cry, even if it's on TV or in the movies, I start crying. And there are a lot of babies crying on that show, especially when they're being born. I, I can't do it. I just start crying. Even if I turn it down, I'll turn it up at the wrong moment and I'll start crying. Does anybody else do that? Is that the, like the weirdest thing? <laughs> but some of our sisters watch things like the Great British Baking Show. Where most of us are Anglophiles, so we watch a lot of British uh, things on Hulu and Netflix. One of our sisters has a friend who has a BritBox subscription, so when she goes and visits her, she watches all these great British television shows. I had actually given up on watching television quite a few years before I entered the convent, mainly because I didn't have time. I was working all the time. And also, I just got really disillusioned and bored with what was on television, except uh, Reno 911. That was my favorite show. <laughs> I think that's the best show ever on television. And of course I used to watch Absolutely Fabulous and I watched like E uh, biographies, A&E biographies, things like that. I really love biographies. Uh, other communities do watch television. They watch TV together. They watch movies together. They'll have a movie night. One of our uh, friendly communities, Roman Catholic communities, they have a TV room where they have recliners, like row upon row of recliners. And the sisters get together like once a week or so and they'll watch TV or they'll watch some kind of sports game together or movies. Uh, we really don't do that here. Our recreation is required to be conversation. We're supposed to talk to each other. We are. We don't have cell phones during that. We're supposed to have an edifying, uplifting conversation every day. We meet for like 30, 45 minutes in the evening after uh, Vespers, and we have recreation then. Uh, and we can't really, a lot of convents and monasteries, it's hard for people to gather and watch TV or a movie together because a lot of the brothers and sisters are older and they have hearing impairment. So watching things as a group is really difficult because some of them just can't hear what's going on. They have to keep asking, you know, what did they say? Who's that? What's going on? <laughs> so it becomes really difficult to do that as a group. So we just watch things individually. A lot of us uh, watch the news on our computer and uh, we seem to fit it in with our schedule. We do have one day off, that's on Mondays, and we can watch Netflix, Hulu, and stuff on our computers then. So I hope that answers your question. We do, we can watch TV, but we don't.